Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a while. Uh, I've been kind of busy and I had some health issues to take care of. Uh, but hopefully this time uh, I'll be making more videos. And if you guys can leave any suggestions in the comments of what kind of videos I, can, I should make, uh, that would be really appreciated. Uh, but in this video I just want to cover layers real quick. Uh, layers are really important in terms of uh, organizing your scene. So as you can see I dragged out a whole bunch of objects uh, in the scene. I have cubes. Uh, lights, cameras, and so on. And make sure you name your objects. Uh, you know, in this case, I didn't. You know, you don't want to see cube six, seven, four, and three, and so on. And uh, you know, this this scene is not really that busy, complicated. Uh, but this will give you an idea of how to use uh, layers. And uh, layers live right under attributes. So as you can see, you have your attributes, your little options for each objects. And if you click on layers tab right below. Uh, this is what it looks like. There's a couple different ways of creating layers. Uh, so you can uh, double click just like you do for materials to create a layer. And uh, let's rename this for example floor. And as you can see we have floor layer. Uh, but this color, the dark green, is not next to any of the objects. And this is where layers colors live. So if you want to add an object to this layer, uh, there, there's a couple different ways you can do that as well. So for the floor, if I click on the floor and click on this little icon here, it's going to say add to new layer or it's going to say add to layer, which is, you know, it, if you have a layer already, you can just add it to that layer. And now we have floor and the dark green layer. Another way you can create a, a layer, you can do file new layer here, or you can do file a new layer from object selection which is uh, the best way I would think. So for example if you click on uh, the spheres null and hold shift and select all of the objects in that null you can do file new layer from object selection and it's gonna add all of those objects into one layer. So now you can just rename your layer you know spheres and now we have a layer for the floor, a layer for the spheres and uh, let's just continue and add all the other objects uh, into uh, their own layers. So let's do the same thing for the cubes, file, uh, new layer from object selection. And now we have the green for all the cubes. So let's just rename it cubes. And uh, to rename, you just double click. And uh, let's go to cameras, select all the cameras. Uh, let's, try, let's try this way, uh, file, add to new layer. As you can see, this way it's only adding that one object even though I had all the cameras selected. That's why this way it's kind of slower if you do it through here. You have to do one by one. So I suggest you just do, uh, you know, select one object, hold shift, select every other object. Do file, uh, new a layer from selection. It's going to organize all the cameras for you. And now you can rename it cameras. And now we have a cameras layer. So let's do the same thing for the lights, file, new layer from selection. Let's do lights. So as you can see guys, the whole scene right now is organized. Each one, each one of these have a you know specific color. So what you can do now, you have all these little icons next to uh, the layers. And if you don't know what these mean, if you click on view, as you can see, solo view, render, manager, locking, and so on. So now you can uh, manage your scene and you can, you know, close all this down if you want. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's all in their own layers. It's all named. Well, except in here, I didn't name them, but as you can see, it's really organized. So now you can hide each one with this little eye icon. You can render it or not render it with this uh, R icon. And this uh, M right here, which is manager, this is a really handy one. So if this, you know, the object tree is really complicated for you. You can just click on the manager icon and it will hide that layer, all, all the objects in that layer from uh, your object tree. So for example, if you want the, if you don't want to see the cubes, you can just click that and all the cubes, as you can see, disappear from the tree. And uh, if you want to, you know, solo out, for example, all the lights, you can just do it this way and it will disappear from here. You can do the same thing for the view. You know, if you want to only see the lights, you can just use the uh, eye icon 
If you want to solo something out, if you want to see only the cubes, you will click solo and now you have access to only cubes. So layers are really important. You know, you have other options here, generators, uh, deformers and so on. And uh, the layers keep you organized like crazy. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. It's really important. Even though this scene is kind of small, as you can see, it's already, you know, I can jump to whatever object, whatever, uh, no, like uh, I want to, I can work on that and I can, you know, zoom in, work on specific objects, solo, solo it out and so on. Uh, so make sure you use layers. They're really important. As, uh, you know, as I told you, file new or file um, new layer from object selection. Uh, these two options will give you a new layer. You can double click to create another layer. So if you prefer that way, it's up to you. So for example, if I rename this uh, cone and I just create a new cone. So now all I have to do, where's the cone? I think it's hiding in here. So all I have to do is click on here, add to layer, add it to cone layer. And now I have a layer for that cone. It's only good if you're doing for one little object, but if you have a lot, I would just suggest selecting them all and just do file and then new layer from object selection. Anyway, guys, I hope we, uh, hopefully this video helped you in any way. I'll try to make more videos in uh, upcoming um, weeks. If you Like I said, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Anyway, please uh, like the video, subscribe for more, and uh, thank you for watching, like always, and uh, have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.